Okay. So let's start our class with a prayer first. Wait lang. Okay, so let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our loving and generous God, we praise and thank you for the bounty for the blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gift of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making a difference to the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So again, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening. Okay, so good evening. So uh, may I request the first presenter to please share share screen the presentation. First reporter, kindly share screen your PowerPoint yes, presentation. Thank you very much. Okay, kindly proceed. Uh, so while preparing, um, please be reminded that your in terms with your PowerPoint presentation, in terms with your PowerPoint, again, as in terms with your PPT, you're given uh, 15 points for PPT. For your presentation, <clears throat> for your presentation, you're given 55 points. For your knowledge, okay? So when you say knowledge, this is the way you respond to the questions given by your classmates. So if you can respond properly, it only shows that you have really prepared your presentation, okay? So you are given... 30 points. So all in all, we do have 100 points per report presentation. So it is expected that in this uh, second term, it is expected that you will you will be given an opportunity to report at least um, at thrice. Okay, you're, you're you'll be given uh, topics three times for this second term. So hopefully you can get a perfect 100 points. So audience, you are expected to, of course, listen and raise questions after. In terms with a question, I will call names and then later, kung kisa pa tong na ay additional question on the topic presented. So first set of reporters, I hope you have prepared. So take it away, Gwendolyn. So, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss to you the important historical development of ballistics. So, the brief history of ballistics. 
word ballistics originated from the Greek word ballion or battle, which means to throw, and from a Roman war machine called ballista. A ballista is a gigantic bow or catapult used to throw missiles and large objects such as bows at a particular distance to deter animals or enemy forces. So, as you can see in the image, this is a cat catapult or ballista looks like. This whip weapon was used by the soldiers long time ago. So, they are using this kind of weapon to hurl a stone to attack their enemies. So, as we notice in our history that a war long time ago was participated by a lot of cities so in order for them to attack their enemies from the other city they need a strong and solid weapon that can hurl a stone at a particular distance so in our modern times ang equivalent aninia is a ballistic missiles and then long time ago uh they used a uh, or short firearms are bow and arrow knives and in our modern times uh, ang weapons nga gigamit sa atong mga soldiers karon is are revolver pistols, rifles, shotguns and bazookas the father of modern ballistics so Colonel Cal Calvin Goddard so, Colonel Calvin Goddard, he became the father of modern ballistics because of the St. Valentine's Massacre on 19, 1921. So, why it is called St. Valentine Massacre? It's because the massacre or the killing of the seven persons who was actually done with the armed individual happened really on February 14th. That is why it is being called St. Valentine Massacre. Calvin Goddard was the lead forensics expert in solving the massacre by using forensic ballistics, studying the bullets to figure out the weapon. Calvin Goddard was the founder of arm identification, making him a pioneer of forensic ballistics. So because, uh, because of the St. Valentine Massacre case, uh, because he is the one who solved the case, he was proclaimed as the father of modern ballistics. And then the invention of gun powder. Gun powder is the first explosive to have been developed, popularly listed as one of the four great inventions of China. It was invented during the late Tang Dynasty, 9th century. Gunpowder is a mixture of salt, pepper, potassium nitrate, sulfur, and charcoal. Together, this material will burn rapidly and explode as a propellant. Gunpowder used as a propelling charges in guns and blasting agents in mining. So, gunpowder has a great contribution in field ballistics wherein gunpowder is used as a propelling charges in guns and a blasting agents in mining so uh we we all know that a gun cannot be fired without a gunpowder so that's a contribution of gunpowder hand cannon the hand cannon was widely used in China from the 13th century onward and later later throughout Eurasia in the 14th century. In 15th century Europe, the hand cannon evolved to become the much locked arquebus which became the first firearm to have a trigger. So, they, as you can see in the picture, the soldier holding a weapon resting on a fork attached to the pommel of the saddle. So this was the first recorded use of hand cannon as a cavalry weapon by the ancient Chinese sol soldier long time ago. So the hand cannon was the cavalry weapon that was being used by the ancient Chinese long time ago. Rojan Bacon. 
a Franciscan philosopher and educational reformer who was a major medieval proponent of experimental science. Bacon studied mathematics, astronomy, optics, alchemy, and languages. He was the first European to describe in detail the process of painting and fault. So, Rogen Bacon uh, had a great contribution in the creation of gunpowder formula. So he, he was the very person who noted the black powder formula. Berthold Thurskwart, Thurskwart, also called Berthold Squars, a German monk and alchemist who credited the invention of gunpowder in Europe and its effective application in artillery. So the contribution of Berthold is is the one used the black powder in the firearm, specific in the artillery. So uh, artillery, artillery means katong dagkong armas or parihas uh, katong dagkong armas. So these two personalities are among those who have a great contribution in the field of ballistics. That's all, ma'am. All right. Okay. Good presentation. So, Serenio, what's your question, Serenio? First question to the presenter. Yeah. Serenio, what's your question to the presenter? Serencio, ma'am. Serencio, what's your question to Cadet Quendulet? Uh, more, I, I will ask again about the invention of uh, gunpowder, uh, gunpowder in China. What was the year? Okay, chapi mo sa po. Koan. In the invention of uh, gunpowder in China is year, 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 uh, at least 100 years ago. Any follow up questions, Serencio? No, no, ma'am. Please formulate a significant question. Okay? All right, let's have Relasa, Relasa. Second question to our presenter. Again, uh, can I ask again uh, the, uh, the first uh, page of your presentation? I think it was about the uh, Greek words. I think that is important. Yes. Uh, the word ballistics originated from the Greek word ballion or ballo, which means to throw. And from a Roman war machine called ballista. So that is the Greek word of ballistic. Thank you. Because basically, the weapons that was utilized before were literally being hurled. Monang to hurl. Monang ang, ang word nga ballistic, mona siya iyahang origin. Because again, basically, weapons before that was utilized during war, okay, were basically hurled. Is that correct, Gwendolyn? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now let's have Langingo. What's your question for. Cadet Abril. So, question is that um, why um, why Colonel Calvin H. Goddard became the father of modern ballistics? Uh, just for clarification, uh, Colonel Cal Calvin Goddard became the father of ballistics because of the case that uh, he solved, which is the St. Valentine massacre case in 1929 on 1929 all right very good let's give a round of applause to our first presenter a virtual applause 
bitter people a virtual applause please thank you very much so Gwendolyn, thank you ma'am all right very good presentation so you got 99 out of 100 next presenter please uh, thank take you, ma note you're welcome take note when you present it's very important that you open your camera at the same time all right so next presenter share screen your ppt yes ma'am all right Please proceed when ready. Excuse me, may makita na, ma'am? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So, good evening everyone. Good evening, mom. So, my topic is all about what is fire mechanism. So, fire mechanism, it is the chemical system that trans, trans, transfers mechani mechanical energy to generate he heat that causes the chemical reaction that propels conical or spherical projectiles down to the barrel or arms. So, when we see fire mechanism, this is where... Uh, transfer of mechanical energy to generate heat that uh, reaction towards to the barrel of firearms so 1364 this is where uh first recorded use of firearms so as what i ha as what said uh as what as what gwendolyn said a while ago that uh this is the first recorded use of firearm so in 1380 this is the, this is a uh, handgun are known across Europe. So in 1400s, the matchlock gun appear. So before the matchlock gun were fired by holding the burning wick to touch the hole. So in a barrel of igniting powder inside. So the gun were fired by, fired by holding a burning wick to touch the hole, so that uh to ignite the barrel the powder inside. So, a shooter uses one one hand for firing and a prop to to steady the gun. So, ang shooter is they are, they are use one hand for firing in order to uh steady or to aim like something like that. This first device or lock for mechanical firing again is the match lock. So, powder is held a flash pan and ignited by a wick or a match in a movable clamp. Both hands remain to the gun, vastly improving, improve, improving aim. So, your two both hands are remain in uh in order for you to uh aim or your aim your target. You should uh like that. Early matchlock guns are extremely rare. The match the matchlock shown here was made around 1640, and is typical of the muskets used by militia in colonial America. So in the match lock, all working elements were pr prote protected inside the lock. The device also freed the hand of the user of his aid. So early match lock guns had um, have a number of names. So before, uh, a match lock is there are lots of names like Harkibus, Hakwibat, Hagbot, Hakbus, Caliber, and Masket. So the match lock was difficult to use in wind or rain and its glow presented a hazard at night or ambush so the match lock it is very difficult to use when when uh there, when there is a battle like for example rain so the army will not uh they will not uh, uh take a battle in rain because uh the match lock is difficult to use however remain uh primary military firearms in your even after other ignition systems were, in, were invented. 
So, China is credited with inventing both gunpowder and firearms that the matchlock was introduced to China by the Portuguese. So, the China is the one to uh, invent uh, gunpowder and firearms. U Europeans refine the hand cannons used in China in the 15th century. The matchlock mechanism was developed. So, in 15th century, so the matchlock were developed. So, the matchlock was also an economical to keep ready for long periods of time. To maintain a single sentry of on night guard duty with a matchlock keeping both ends of this well of much per year. Who invented the first gun in 1934? Historians generally consider the Chinese fire lens as the first gun. But before the 15th century, guns were tricky to fire. They required both hands and burning wick to ignite powder. So before, uh, again, guns are koan, tricky to fire. So they are required a burning wick or to ignite the powder. 1498, rifling principle is discovered. So 15, Sarna is invention of wheel rock, wheel lock or rose lock. The next major advance, so the wheel lock generate a spark mechanic, mechanic, mechanically with no wick to keep let. The wheel lock is easier to use and more re reliable than match lock. However, wheel locks are expensive to produce. So, and match um, wheel lock, it, it is very easier to uh, use and it is very uh, re reliable and, and it is uh, expensive to produce. Matchlock at half the cost remain in common use. This is an early 1540 or multi-shot wheel lock pistol made made for Emperor Charles V in this weapon. Two locks are combined in one mechanism to give barrel separate ignition. So the locks are combined uh two I gina combine chag two locks in order to give a separate ignition. So, wheel lock device for igniting the powder in firearms such as musket. It was developed in about 1515. The wheel lock struck as a part to ignite powder of the pan of a musket. It did so by means of hold the press and shard of flint for a piece of iron fired against an iron wheel. With milled edge, the wheel was rotated and sparked blue. So, the, the principle was used in the design of the flint and wheel cigar cigarette lighter. So, the one who invented wheel lock is Johann Kifos of Nuremberg, Germany in 1517. So, the, uh, the wheel lock developed in Europe in 15 or, 15 or early 16th century by exactly whom is not known. So, wheel lock could, not on, could, could, could only be afforded by nobility. So, as what I have said a while ago, that wheel uh, lock is very uh, expensive because uh the one uh, who can afford is no is only the nobility officers and rich merchants though some military units with noble sponsor could afford to equip all of their troops with them the wheel lock had many advantages over the match lock it was much less sensitive to rain or wind would not give away the shooter position with a glow of a light match at night so um um, we lock is uh, it is very uh sensitive, so it, it will not use in the rain, and could easily be holstered or concealed. It was also less dangerous to handle, as it did not require placing black powder in close proximity to a boarding match. Fifteen forty appears in firearms. Sixteen zero seven is the settlers arrive in. Jamestown, Virginia. Six flint lock. So the flint lock solves a long, long standing problem. Sometime in the late 1500s, a lead was added to the flush pan design to, to, ex, to expose or protect the powder. So a flush pan design is they're the one to uh, expose or protect the powder. The lead had to be moved manually. So the flint lock mechanism.
system was designed to push back the lead and spark of lint at the same time. So the flint animation system is green for, for two centuries with virtually no alteration. So as what you have seen in the picture, so here is the flint picture. Here is a typical British brown bee. So when we say brown bee, this is the British army use. Masket marks on the gun indicate that it was used by German or mercenaries during the uh, American Revolution. So the one who invented flintlock is Mar Marine Lee Borgios. The invent invention of the flintlock was significant at the time. It was created and continued to be instrumental in the development design of today's modern rifle. So flintlock pistols were used as, for example, self-defense weapons or military as a military arm their effective range was short and they were frequently used as an adjunct to sword or cutlass pistols were usually used more for although some rifle pistols were produced so flint locks have two triggers so have a seat trigger that allows the shooter to advance the trigger and set it so that very little addition pressure is required to fire so the double set single face face a two, a two trigger system pull the rear trigger to set the front trigger for firing so the basic goal of flintlock is simple to create a spark that can light the gun powder stored in the barrel of the gun to create the spark the flintlock uses the flint and steel approach so the part that you see are the hat speak or of iron boarding if the spark comes near, the gun powder will ignite. So that is the picture of the flint lock. So the, this is the flint, the cock and side plate and spearing or this is the pan and the freezing. That's it. All right, very good. So a little clarification. Huh? Your match lock is... Um, in comparison to your wheel lock in terms of kanaba, in terms with the production itself mas expensive yun, as emphasize your wheel lock is more expensive compared to your match lock however many many soldiers many countries utilize the match lock before again because in terms of the, uh, the production itself it's not that expensive uh, the problem lang is that your match lock is very sensitive to rain and to wind, of course. Remember, as emphasized by the presenter, in order for your match lock to continue functioning, kinahanglan, nagsigabaya siya. O, ya, kung kusog ang hangin, so do you think that there is a mechanical process? Shh, anak. Love, bata. Excuse me, intermission number first. So again, imagine kung kuan. Imagine ang two warring countries ha. Ya pagkahuman kusog ang kusog ang usa hangin or nikalit pagugulan. So it is expected that the matlak will no longer be utilized. Mula sa una, uso ra gyapon even they do have the matlak. Uso ra gyapon that they will use the sword itself and the knives. Kaya nga naman, effective sa panahon that there is a sudden change of weather. Okay. It was mentioned earlier by the presenter that your your wheel lock is sensitive. No. It is not that sensitive compared to your match lock. Muna ngingon sila nga mas lindot. It's just that not all countries can afford, not all people can afford. Monang it was emphasized again by our presenter that only those officials in the military, uh, only those nobles, only those uh, rich merchants can really afford the will. Pasalamat kita kay natay Flint. But then again, but then again, um, since it's, it is better compared to the two previous, what's this, guns, monang it's quite expensive to reproduce and not all again can really purchase those guns itself so let's have to build to build what's your first question to our presenter um my my question mom is that i my question but uh, musora 
it's, it's just simple. For you, um, aside from, um, this is for the much, much uh, that uh, involved. What? It's a choppy, choppy billing. Claro la compio, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. I think Almosora is having intermittent connection. So kindly speak slowly or slower. Ma'am, choppy billing. Chapi pare. Okay. Ah, uh, kindly type your answer, uh, your question in the info messages, please. And Bansi, kindly type your question as well to the info messages. And Torres also, kindly write your question in the info messages. Kadat Almosora, kindly open the info messages so that you can see and read the question. Bansi Torres, Tubil, again, can you write your question in the in-call messages? Okay, ma'am. Okay, where's your question? Um, Cadet Almosora, first question, can you respond? Type na ko na. Cadet Almosora? Mute ka na. Cadet Almosora? Cadet Almosora? Okay, so I will respond to the question, unfortunately. Cadet Almosora? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, go ahead. Kindly respond. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, yes, Dai. Go ahead. Can you respond to the first question? So, aside from the, uh, there are limitations about, uh, so, balik sa Lightning. But I'm uh, sorry. Yes, yes. I'm um, at okay. I'm a dog now. Thing. Oh, oh. So, um, aside from the wind and rain, there are many. There are any limitation when it comes to lightning and matchlock. So, so the uh, to answer that question, uh, matchlock, uh, one of being the burning piece could not burn in meat or freezing weather. So, dili siya ma burn in meat or pre freezing weather. Okay, okay, let's get started. Okay, it is noted that most warning countries before na agud sila like snow. I wish na like snow po sa. Pilipinas no, kung ganahan siya ng no. Kaso ha, mag no. Yes, that is correct. One of, aside from the wind, aside from the rain, basically, sa panahon sa snow, okay, or freezing weather, it, it's not really good to use the match lock. Kaya kinahanglan, bayan niyo mo pasigao ng pabilo. Correct? O, sa pagsigas pabilo, kung buhok na. Alright, that's correct. Mato po ka, ma'am. Okay, so thank you, Cadet Almosora. Okay, next question. Where's your question, Torres and Bansi? Okay, Cadet Almosora, can you respond to the next question? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, to answer the question, uh, how does match clock or differ from we lock? So, the match lock is, uh, they, uh,
the watchlock was uh were protected inside the lock while well, the wheel lock is uh the wheel lock is part to ignite the powder of on the pan of a musket Uh, um, um, so, ang wheel lock is, as what I have said a while ago, that uh, the one who can afford uh, that is the nobility or office or the rich mer merchants. Well, um, much luck is... Uh, much luck is difficult to use. Be difficult to use in wind or in rain that's it all right in addition to the answer given by al -Mosora, um actually both of the much luck and your wind luck are sensitive to the rain the freezing weather and even the wind it's just that in terms where the level of sensitivity must be sensitive ang wind luck compared to your much luck and, uh, Okay, next question. Kindly respond, Kadat Almosora. Yes, ma'am. Give me one major difference between modern gun and much luck gun. So, in modern gun, uh, Today, uh, since we are modern, so now, ko ano jud siya like we are na improve well and much luck gun before uh ko andra. Rare siya sa una. Anything else? Kadat ang That's it, ma'am. All right. So, in addition to the question of Bansi, of course, it's very obvious the big difference between much luck and your modern gun. Kaya nga naman, ang much luck sa una, kinala naman pa si Gaon, makita na yung pabilo. Pero sa modern gun, na pa ba yung pabilo? Of course, wala na. So, it's very obvious that in terms with the mechanism itself, mas improved version, kaayo ang atuang, ang atuang kuan modern guns. Karon you can see, you can have even the O sige to pinakagamay nga po sila. O sige to pinak Ha? Unsa? Okay. Even karon you can even you can even blaze your gun sa imuhang gamay nga purse gani for makeup. Katong Black Widow ko no ni ko na ko ba na. Ha? O caliber 22. Bisa una ikaw maglisod mag ultimong kanang pag-conceal gani sa match lock and even the wheel lock and even the flint lock lisod man gani so cancellation itself okay concealing itself it's it's ko an obvious nga mas daling ma-conceal ang mga guns karon compared sa unang panahon mechanism wise of course the use of gunpowder of course sa una they're just, just using black powder karon na nakai ko an smokeless powder pa gyud and even karo mga panahuna ang ang mga guns are mga kanabang gipang modify na kay caliber 45 na apo kay unsa tuyo usang alan tong ulab kato bang imong impact caliber kato bang usa ba kato bang gi-revive gikuan gani gi modify para mas kusog pa jud siya pagka 45 Impact 45? Mabot yung alam na ito? Talimot siya ko. Tanigo lang. Basta na ako ito yung usang na-try na mo. Which is, which is, 45 Japan siya, pero nara siya gi-usog mo nang mas usan. Hmm, did they impact? Compact 45. Even mga guns karoon with the same caliber are being modified slightly para mas usog pa yun. One good example as what I mentioned is your compact 45. All right, very good, Almosora. Let's give Kadet Almosora a virtual applause, please. All right, very good. So, maayo ha, second set of kuan students nga nihata ko question. Mas better kung para kanina. All right, so Kadet Almosora, you got 95 out of 100. Congratulations. 
Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. So let's proceed to the next presenter, please. Ako, ma'am. Go ahead, please. Well, let me share my screen. Hello, uh, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, classmates. Also, uh, I'm going to report about the rifles, rifles, revolver, and self-loading pistols. This is also under the um, historical development of firearms under forensic uh, ballistics. So before I start with my report, let me share a short trivia that I found on social media. So listen, did you know that guns was once just the weapon of the world's military forces? Now, guns are considered a right of the average citizen by some people, especially in the United States. And actually, it is written in their constitution. Now you do. So let me start with... Um, the riflings or rifflings. So when we say rifflings, we thought of a word rifle. So ratong mga tagas ng mga pusil atong ma kwan ma numduman. When I when I first heard the word uh, uh, rifflings, I thought of those um, guns that I have encountered in the um, ROTC. Um, those are uh, they they presented as rifles. So as um, according to my research, that rifflings is the arrangement of spiral groups in the inside of a rifle barrel. So, um, ang rifle day, ang rifling, say rifle na pusil, it is not like a model, but it is a gun that is rifled or has a spiral groups. When we say spiral groups in a spiral shape, um, as you can see in the image, the, the, I mean, the first image, you see a spiral shape, paana siya. So, mara siya, kamantin mo ng katol, spiral siya, that is a spiral groove. Spiral groove. The, the, as you can see also in the pictures, you have the groups of the um, the barrel. We have the spiral cuts into a rifle bore, which is a groups. And the ridges of the metal between the groups in a rifle bore is what we uh, considered as the lance. Next is that, so th that is the, that is the, um, the image of the bore or a bore. So the term refers to the spiral grooves cut into the bore, anisha bore, of a barrel, which impart a stabilizing spin to the bullet. The spin keeps the bullet travel in a straight direction and lessens the tendency from departing its line of flight. Um, the very purpose of a spiral groups is that when you fire a a when you fire a gun with a rifle groove is that pagtira na nimo gaktoyok na ang bala so that's the very uh, purpose of the spiral groups like it spins with the wind so straight ang direction nila um for example I thought of an example, more simple say an example, the ang um, um, Beyblade. Pag atong ikwan ang ang Beyblade, so sa Beyblade, Beyblade, kwan na siya, pag imo siyang, imo siyang birahon, imo toyok siya, so steady ang iyang spin, so spiral po din iyang shape. Mara kong yun makarelate niya. So, what is siya? A rifling is the term reference to the spiral groove struck into the bore of the barrel. Next is that the development of groove barrels is attributed to Gaspard Kolner, a gun maker of Vienna, in the 15th century. Others fix the date of 1520 and attribute it to August Scatter of Nuremberg. Um, I did a research um, I, according to the to the live discussion that uh, Mam Mam sent in the Google Classroom that. Um, according to the instructor, that we cannot say that it is a an invention. It is a development and more in development and innovations and attributed to Gaspar Kolner and a gun maker of Vienna and the 15th century. When you say 15th century, um, we can say it's uh, 1500s. It is in the year 1400. So, dugi kaisha, dugi na kaisha, 1400s. 
others fix the date of 1520, uh, 1520, 16th century, siya, and is attributed to August Cutter of Nuremberg. So you may um, question if if um, Kinsa Gudnila ang more on had a uh, development of the said riflings. So according to my research that um, Gaspard Golner first um, developed Dao and Augustus Cutter is just um, help help uh, Gaspard Golner in the development and innovation of rifle guns. And also, munang munang di ay mude ay wala ni lagi um, didn't use the term inventions because in the year um, 1450s and 1500s, a German weapon bearing the coat of arms of the Emperor um, Maximilian. Maximilian the first and made between uh, 1450 and 1500s have spiral groups na ano siya mga spiral groups, uh, spiral groups barrels and are in fact the earliest identifiable rifled guns uh, because um, riflings is the development of riflings started in 1498. So, munang innovate innovate development because they have um, found out that German weapons bearing the coat of arms of Emperor Maximilian the first is between 1450 and 1500s. 1450 siya nagsugod. So, mas kwan siya, mas una sa development nila. So, this is the image that I got when I searched the uh, Maximilian the first. So, they have found out that was a part of her, I mean, part, part of his clothes or part of his armors so, na mga spiral groups in that image. image. I have searched also the, um, I tried searching on the images of Cutler and Colner, but wala yung magawas kayo, magdugay na kayo siya, mar siya mga drawings na lang ba. So I, but I I have found out the Maximilian the first photo, the emperor of Mexico daw siya. So I'm going to uh, show a, um, a model of a rifle. Uh, rif that undergoes riflings, guns that undergoes riflings. Of course, uh, a very familiar M M16 rifle. We have um, hinge action shotgun, bolt action rifle, lever action rifle, um, pump action shotgun, and semi-automatic rifles. Those are um, guns that undergoes riflings that has spiral groups. So, next we have the revolver in the year. Um, 1835 revolver from the word uh revolve revolve siya toyo toyo siya a weapon with the revolving cylinder containing a number of firing chambers which may be successively lined up and discharged through a single barrel so as you can see in the picture we have a Samuel Colt um revolver in the year um, 1835 so a cylinder Containing a number of firing chambers, six uh, chambers on revolver, I think. Then it's discharged discharge through a single barrel. So this is the image of um, Samuel Colt in 1835, and his um, invention, the Colt Dragoon, the Colt uh, revolver. Samuel Colt from the from his name, 1814 to 1862. And also, in the year, uh, after the, the revolver of 1835 of Samuel Colt, we have the 1857 Smith and Wesson introduced the first hinge frame 0.22 rim fire revolver. So, sunod ni Samuel Colt, ni sunod na po silang um, Smith and Wesson in the year 1857, the rim fire revolver. It's a rimfire revolver because it is the use of a metallic cartridge Gabe Smith and uh, it is the use of a rimfire um, ammunition. The bull, uh, actually, I saw an image that it, it was compared to a center fire, center fire ammunition, and rimfire revolver because uh, mer uh, rimfire rimfire ammunition ang gamit niya. So I think that's why um, it is called the rimfire revolver. So there, it's metal uh, compared to the compared to Samuel Colt's uh, um, 
revolver, um, mas uh, mas ni develop ang ilahang rimfire revolver because of its metallic cartridges. It is the use of uh, like full metals na, and it gave them a market. Mar kusog ang iyahang agbaligya kusog ang demand niya until 1869 because of its metallic components, uh, metallic texture of the gun. So I'm going to share to you so, um, parts of a, a revolver. So the revolver, as we can, as we can, uh, as we have watched on movies, as, is that mama? as we can see in the picture, um, uh, sa akong pagkuhan dahi sa mga movies, mga, ang revolver, the revolve siya, announce siya, sumutoyok siya, then mo, mo balin siya sa, sa nanay bala, then pag fire ni mo, imo na po siya ang pull ang trigger. Ay, um, yung hammer, part that strikes the primer to cause ignition. The next, uh, from from revolver, uh, from from revolver, then we have the self-loading pistols. The self-loading pistols it load by itself. It is in the year 1664, and it has um, believed to have existed since 1664. It is reported in Birch History of the Royal Society that a mechanic had made a claim of being able to make a pistol which could shoot as fast as presented and stop at will. So self-loading pistols, the Kadevotasha 1664, we have this image of a self-loading pistols. You have the front side, the barrel, the bullet. So at the, I believe at the time when you experience of fire um, at the time when you um, fire a self-loading pistols um, it will load by itself it will load by itself when you fire another bullet. and also in the year 1893 Bergman produced a whole range of pistols one of which the 1897 simplex of a particular interest as the cartridge became the automatic Colt pistol. Automatic Colt pistol. Ragunisha, automatic Colt pistol. And in the year 1896 also, Birchman, the Birchman 1896 was a 19th century semi automatic pistol developed by German designer Louis. Schmeiser, Schmeiser, and sold by Theodore Bergman's company. So, um, Luis is the one who siya ang design sa semi-automatic pistol and he developed and designed the, the semi-automatic pistol in 1896 and sold it to Theodore Bergman's company. This is Luis uh, Schmeiser, Luis Schmeiser, and Theodore Birchman, yang ibaligyan ni Theodore Birchman ni yang design semi-automatic pistols. Alright, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Alright, thank you very much. So earlier, um, Hannah Tubil, Kadet Tubil was able to Sige, dito kong naipuansa. <laughs> okay, so earlier, she mentioned about the rim fire. The primary reason why it's considered rim fire, rim fire bullet because the primer itself is situated on the base. Sa ilalong ba? On the base. Asa mag specifically sa base? Sa edges niya. Muna gitawag siya o oh, rim fire bullet. Because ang primer niya is nasa edge. Di ba kasagaran ka natin gitawag ka center fire? Center fire yes. in a sense because the primer is situated na asa tunga itself sa base of the primer. But your rim na asa edge, na asa kilid. Motong sa image given earlier, gi-emphasize itong naa sa kilid. Alright? Okay? So, very good. Now, let's ask... Okay, very good. Okay. Quiet, Kadneet. Ay. Okay, let's have Gwen. Gwen, what's your first question to Kadet Tubil? Very good presentation. Okay, so my question is... How does rifling improve accuracy? Come again, what was your question? 
How does rifling improve accuracy? Accuracy, you mean accurately? Yes, kanang pag... Yung sa siya pag di mo? Kanang like di fire na siya. Fire siya, uh, rifling, um, of course, it has spiral grooves na, di ba? When they are, uh, they said that when it is fired, nag-spin na ang, nag-spin na ang, nag-spin na ang bullet, which may, which, um, um, possess a very straight direction kung mag-spin na siya. Yes, and the yeah. spinning itself and stabilization is due to the gyroscopic forces that is produced by the spiral, spiral. Inside, yes, inside the rifle itself. And in terms with the accuracy, it depends on the model. Remember that not a lain classing rifle. And each type of rifle has their own effective Nasa lang itawag na effective range, napod sila kuan uh, maximum range. So it depends on the type. But then again, there are instances wherein the accuracy and the effectivity range is not met because of some factors. Like for example, hangin. Don't you know nga even ang hangin can also affect the kuan, can also affect the effectivity and the accuracy of the, the, the rifle itself whether it's an F-16, F-14, so on and so forth. So the wind itself also affects. If, but dilira ang, ang accuracy ang affected by the wind, even the penetration of the unburned particles of the gunpowder. Remember, di ba, o sa may basis na to, para to tell that someone or that specific person fired a gun. Di ba, ang basis na to, Ana, is the deep penetration of gunpowder that is recovered through paraffin casting nga gibutang og diphenylamine reagent correct dili oy di ba you had your forensic chemistry correct. subject di ba yes ma'am okay it's the deep yes, penetration pero there are instances even the person itself nga mao join ni fire sa bul sa gun itself whether it's a handgun a pistol it's a rifle sometimes because ang direction of the wind niya is against ang mahitabo is gamay ra nga penetration ang mabutang that is the primary reason many of the many of the kuan mga mga expert would even question the the unsay tawag ani the accuracy of the paraffin cast because sometimes Mama. like <laughs> sorry anak nara dito yung charger pasensya kayo ha even charger ako apa Okay. So one ang others question the accuracy. Kaya na po because the your your diphenylamine reagent that is being utilized. Okay, also reacts to other components like for example fertilizer. It also reacts. It also provides a positive result. One ang others one will not even anak. I will just count one up to three anak. Kabalo na ka. Kung sa mahita po. Na unya na na. Gamay na lang jiko lang. Sorry. Lab, kwa sa bulong sa charger palihog din charger. Nas imong bag to ana. Okay, so balik ta ha. So sometimes even again, even the wind can even affect the accuracy itself. All right. Next question, Torres. Ay dili si Torres, si Kadungog. Kadungog, what's your question? No, kanu ba? Ayun nyo kalimti niyang inyuha mga previous professional subjects because they are all connected. Yes, Kadungog, what's your question? Turo ko, ma'am. Yes, I can hear you. What's your question? Turo ko, ma'am. Yes, we can hear you. What's your question? As what, uh, as what you said uh, earlier, di ba ang uh, bullet will... Uh, pag po sa trigger, it will spin, so it will uh, maintain the direction. So, uh, does it help uh, in increase the uh, the speed of the bullet or despite the wind, or it only for the purpose of it is for the, uh, the uh, direction, uh, maintain the direction? Um, actually, the purpose of the, that is the work of the spiral group. Um, sa sunod pa lang, may impact na siya with the with the a correspondence of the wind the spiral groups inside the rifle yes it helps. all right in addition to 
your in addition to the answer given by Cadet Tubil, um, with regards to the speed, actually, it depends on the model. As what I have mentioned earlier, each model of the rifle has their own, has their specific maximum range, effective range, and minimum. Okay. So, the, the existence of the speed, the 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 spiral the 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 with the type of rifle that is being produced. In short, your M16 has to... In short, your Kuan M16 has a has its Kuan um, specific, no? Specific na effective range, so on and so forth. Same with your M14. Same with the other rifles. And in addition to the explanation earlier by two bill your land and groups serves as the fingerprint of the firearm asa man gibutan ang fingerprint di na asa bullet na asa cartridge na asa mp shell mao ba yan ang um, our pnp organization is really what's this encouraging all gun owners all gun owners in the Philippines na ang ilahang mga pusin ilang i-register para we will have a record on the class and the major characteristics of their firearm. Para if there are shooting incidents, if there are crime scenes that involves firearm, it would be easier for them to identify who is the possible owner of the firearm based on the firearm and tool mark examination that will be conducted by the forensic expert. Okay? Pero ang problema din sa Pilipinas in the relation to the trivia kay America man yung trivia niya, kay Pinay man ko. In relation to the trivia earlier, muna niya siya nakasadyas Pilipinas. Nga naman, many of the handgun owners, they do not want to register their firearm. First and foremost, they find the process tedious and expensive. Okay. And aside from that, kinahanglan ba yan ni mong i-renew for me? Di sila ganahang mag-renew. And aside from that, palayo simba ko na they will use the firearm. They do not want to associate themselves. Mauna siya yung problema. Okay? Mauna siya yung problema. And another, kani mga Pinoy, mahilig kayo palit o paltik. They do not want to purchase. Diyos ko, giniig ko. They do not want to purchase mga handguns that are made by legal koan, mga manufacturing company. Ginahan dyan sila atong 5,000 guwapo kayo. Guwapo, propila rakatira, one. Okay? So, let me unta to if you do, if face-to-face -face na no, because in your scholastic tool, puhon, puhon, up mo, ato man na ugsibo. Okay, so pag ato si Bo, we'll visit also kanang usaning mga tinghimo o mga paltik. When you say paltik, meaning to say, kana bang manually made ra ang ilahang mga pusil. Nga if you do have 3,000, 5,000 pa po na kaayo, guwapo externally. But in terms of the usage, pila ra ka pusil ni mo, I want any hamfire na. Daga na sa Danau, ma'am. Uy, ayun, sisod. Wad yung kuhig isulti, ha? Wad yung kuhig isulti, ha? Dili akong sala o dili akong dakong sa... Ay, yung nag-mention o lugar. Alright. Okay. Next question, please. Let's have... Almosora, what's your question? Ay. Dali. Naka-question na din sa Almosora. Rilasa, what's your question? Mama ko, ang question kayo na-ansira na. Hindi mo. Another question. Okay. Mam, wala na ko yung mga question, ma'am. Kaya informative lang kayo itong kanya na, ma'am. Very good. 
Okay. So, let's give Hannah a round of applause, please. I'm so happy sa mga presenters sa prepared. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, inuna na akong gusto. When you present, it's very important that you open your camera. Okay? So, uh, for Hannah's presentation, she got 100 out of 100. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. All right. You're welcome. Next presenter, please. Are we still good? Nasuko na ni Ubano, yes, kagi pang gutom. Okay, next presenter, please. So, allow me to share my screen. So, nakita na ako, friend? Yes. 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 So, madungo ka ko? Oo. Uh -uh. Yes, madi, yes. So, good evening everyone. My report is all about percussion system. Uh, percussion system is an ignition system of a firearm that utilizes an explosive that detonates when sharply struck. It was discovered by Alexander Forsyth. Uh, percussion system is a system that uses explosives explosives uh, such as gunpowder to detonate and propel a projectile from a cartridge. Alexander John Forsyth. He was a Scottish Presbyterian clergyman who first successfully used detonating chemicals to prime gunpowder in firearms thereby creating what became known as percussion ignition in 1807. He made his first percussion system by packing a potassium chlorate in the breech of a gun through which the flash of the primer ordinarily traveled. When the compound was struck with a hammer, it explode, exploded with a strong flash that ignited the main charge in the barrel. So Alexander John Forsyth is a clergyman, uh, so yeah, uh, his religion was Presbyterian, so he was a born again. Uh, he, he was the inventor of percussion system in the early 1807, so he is a Quran. He, uh, a pastor. Next is metallic cartridges. First is pinfire. An obsolete type of metallic firearm cartridge in which the priming compound is ignited by striking a small pin which protrudes regionally from just above the base of the cartridge. On one side of the cartridge is a protruding firing pin. The other end of the pin touches a small copper cap containing a pressure-sensitive primer explosive such as mercury, fulminate, or potassium chlorate. The rest of the case is filled with gunpowder and there is a lead bullet at the end. To ignite the gunpowder charge, one applies a sharp blow to the pin. The other end of the pin then strikes the, pri the primer which then ignites and then burns the main gunpowder charge. To load the weapon, the user opens the breech of the gun and drops in a cartridge. There is a slot at the top of the barrel so that the pin can protrude out of the slot. The user then cocks the hammer against the spring pressure. When the user pulls the trigger, the hammer is released and the spring force drives the hammer into the pin, thereby firing the weapon. So in in this picture, these are the type of pinfire cartridges in order from 15 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 9 millimeter, 7 millimeter, 5 millimeter, and 2 millimeter. So the inventor was Casimir Lefaucheux, was a French gunsmith. 
invented the pin far cartridge as one of the earliest practical designs of a metallic cartridge in the 1830s. So, sa picture makit uh, in this picture siya si Casimir Lafosho, French. Next is Rimfire. Uh, Rimfire was discussed uh, early by the report of Miss Hannah Tubil. Rimfire is a type of a firearm metallic cartridge whose primer is located within a hollow circum circumferential rim protruding from the base of its casing. Once the rim of the cartridge has been struck and the bullet discharged, the cartridge cannot be reloaded because the head has been deformed by the firing pin impact. Uh, the common, most common rimfire ammunition from left to right, uh, 0.22 short, 0.22 long rifle, 0.22 Winchester, Winchester Magnum rimfire, 0.17 Hornady Mac 2, and the last is 0.17 Hornady Magnum rimfire. Uh, the most common gun uh, using a rimfire cartridge is a revolver, and some of some of long rifles such as Winchester uh, use it uses 22 long. This is Louis Nicolas Flaubert, a Frenchman who invented the first rimfire metallic cartridge in 1845. It was a major innovation in firearms ammunition. Next is center fire, a firearm metallic cartridge whose primer is located at the center of the base of its casing. Unlike rimfire cartridges, the center fire primer is typically a separate component seated into the resist cavity in the case head and is replaceable by reloading. The power ignites when the firing pin of the firearm strikes the center of the cartridge. So center fire mostly uh, most uh, nowadays uh, ang ginagamit na yun sa mga persons in authority and mga even the private individuals with uh, having uh, or owning a gun they uses center fire most cof most common center fire cartridges are 45 ACP or automatic cold pistol 9 mm luger and 5.56 by 45 mm nato uh, 45 ACP uh, this cart uh, this cartridge uses a 45 caliber pistol uh, cold pistol so 9 mm luger uh, beretta m9 or a glock uh, 556 five, by 45 millimeter uh, m16 m16 rifle m4 m14 a brief history of center fire it was invented during uh, between 1808 and 1812 by Jean Samuel Pauli this was also the first fully integrated cartridge and used a form of obliteration employing the cartridge in itself Another form of center fire am ammunition was invented by Frenchman Clement Potet in 1829. However, Potet didn't perfect his design until 1855. The center fire cartridge was improved by Vietius Beringer, Benjamin Hollier, Gastine Renet, Smith and Wesson, Charles Lacaster, Jules Fellow Gevelo, George Mo Morse. From Franco Schneider, Hiram Berdan, and Edward Munir Boxer. Uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, wala ko yung picture of John Samuel Pauli kay dili siya awala uh, available sa Google. So, mawala to siya pang report. 
All right. Thank you very much. So in addition to the presentation, in addition to the present, in addition to the presentation of Cadet um, Serencio, okay? So your rifle is also a good example of a percussion. Okay, your rifle again is a good example of a precaution. But nowadays, kasagalan sa mga rifle are already considered as center, uh, center bullet, center, yeah, yeah, center fire rim ang ilahang ipanggamit because uh, many find center fire rim more advantageous compared to your rim fire. Questions, clarifications? So Ay, let's Ma'am, napoy addition ma'am. Ah uh, yes, Serencio, uh, please go ahead. Ang rimfire cartridge was often used in hunting and kanang sa sports gani ma'am. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that is very true even mga Glocks. Kasagaran sa mga Glocks are made out of center fire cartridges. Wala kaayoy ko ay wala kaayoy unsay tawag ani rim fire cartridges mostly are center fire pero if you will try to look at sa ka, mga kasagaran sa mga ammunitions karon no mga ammos karon mga cartridges often are are made out of a center fire wala na kay kayo makitaan na mapin fire mga rim fire wala na kayo so let me unta tong if you had your combat shooting di ba naa man dapat mo ana okay so, let me untatog na ito yung combat shooting because if you had your combat shooting, you will see an actual cartridge and you will be, what's this, you will be asked by the instructor to place the koan, to, to load the gun itself. So, makita ninyo, ah, lahir na gitsura ang center fire o ang rim fire and even ka na mga, mga pin type na mga concept, cartridges itself. Okay? So, let's have... um. By losses. By losses, what's your first question to Cadet Serencio? Um, both Serencio, um, my question is that, um, are there any disadvantages with the use of pin fire cartridges as compared to center fire cartridges? Both. Sa ako na research, ang um, differences nila kay ang rim fire as of now, lisod na lisod siya pangitaon kay gamay na lang ang nagama sa rim fire nga cartridge kay ang most common karon nga cartridge nga gigamit kay center fire na center fire because ang nakalami man good niya is that it it allows to have a heavier projectile okay mo nang karon karon mas ang makita nato are more on a center fire cartridges rather than your pin itself. Okay, good question. Let's have Torres. Thank you, Bud. Torres, your question to Cadet Serencio. Um, my question is, uh, for Serencio is, as I must, for you, as I must kusog ang sa, sa pagkwad, sa pa, kaning, kaya mo nagtulin sa bala sa rim fire or para ni mo or sa center fire? Para nako na kay ang mas tulin kay ang center fire kay magdepende po na siya sa rifle mangod pud siya pero ang center fire pwede ana siya ay specific nga uh, car, uh, cartridge nga pwede siya ma pwede, ang pwede ang projectile gaan pwede pud siya bugat so naay mga sa center fire naay unsa ni naay naay amun uh, naay projectile nga subsonic na po kuan uh, subsonic means ka na mo break sa sound barrier gani so pwede po siya na po siya dili subsonic na po siya armor piercing depende ra po na sa number of grains nga ibutang sa center fire pero mas kusog ang center fire kay pwede ra man siya ilis ilis uh, pwede po ka makapili og kinds of projectile nga makuan mabutang um, in addition to the answer given by Serencio, the beauty with a center fire cartridge is that this allows a more accurate shot at a longer distance. Mo nang karong panahuna, mas makita nato that daghan kanong mga mga manufacturing companies that they would prefer to have a center fire 
compared to the other fire cartridges. Again, this allows more accurate shot on a long distance. Kasagaran ba yas, amupalit ba yas, ilabiyahang lantawon ang maximum range, okay, or maximum effectivity sa usa ka firearm. Mo mo ni kasagaran nung nagina pangita sa mga kuan, sa mga buyers. They don't, they they do not like firearms nga kuan. Kana bang dili kayo taas ang iyang agi mas kana sa lag lagyo. So I don't know why. Okay. Questions? Clarifications? Probably, katong tigin ra kayo competition, ka na. So, again, aside from, aside from the model of the firearm, whether it's a rifle, it's a shotgun, it's a pistol, the use of a koan, the use of a center fire cartridge itself, no, allows the effectivity and accuracy of, it helps in attaining the accuracy and effectivity and even the speed the firearm itself. Torres, follow up question, please. Hmm, kampas nika. Follow up question, please. Wala na, ma'am. Wala na? Wala ko question, ma'am. Yes, go ahead, please. Ma'am, ah, katong yes, what do you think, Dad? Just... Yes, Rilasa, go ahead. Okay, ma'am. So, I just want to know, ma'am, because I'm somewhat confused about the numbers na 0.22 mm, 0.15 mm. Does it indicate the length or the width of the bullet or cartridge? Ah, okay. It's the bore itself tong ang gingling inundong. So, mm. yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Pero in terms with koan, in terms with the firearm itself, naman po yung ubang mga pusil nga, pwede rang gamiton ang similar type as tong as... Agaray! Ag Sorry. As long as kaigo na siya. Okay. Dayan ko an, ma'am. Uh, kanang the bigger the... Since it's uh, about the bore, ma'am. So the bigger the bore, ma'am, does, uh, does it mean nga uh, the bullet may fire faster or the smaller it is, the bullet will come out faster? It depends on the number of the lantern groups that are ko an. Uh, that is kuan, embedded on the bore itself. Tong. Because remember, like, kuan maguna siya, each firearm and each model, lain lain uh, la la ang number of lands and groups that is kuan, uh, manufactured inside a, kuan, inside a gun itself. Whether it's a rifle, it's a pistol, it's, uh, yeah, it's a short arm. In Anna. So it depends on the number of the land and groups. Mo biyan ng mo biyan ng siya nakalami in terms with the study of koan um in terms of firearm analysis because with the use of the land and groups and other markings inside the gun itself, it serves as a fingerprint. Mo nang it would be it's easier on the koan on the part of the firearm expert or specialist to do the elimination process and to determine whether that specific firearm dia but mo ba ni kaninga cartridge itself kaninga bullet itself dili ba jud ni firearm gagikan so elimination process wise it would be easier but then again dili but pasabot that the elimination process is easier the investigation is easier no because there are a lot of challenges pa po that are being faced one good example that is Pilipinas is that only a small percentage of gun owners decided to register their firearm in the PNP. Okay, so ang may tabo, when there are, as what I mentioned earlier, if there are incidents that involve firearm, it still provides difficulty on the part of the PNP organization. And aside from that, if you were able to join the Second International Convention, in the firearm and tool examination, I think that was the third part of the second convention. It mentioned that that the that the, 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 there are people who are questioning the koan, the accuracy of the examination made by the koan uh, firearm technician or the specialist itself. So sometimes the accuracy and the capability and training uh, received 
by the expert are also being questioned. Walang sometimes, sometimes instead of helping ang may tabu, uh, there are there are points of presentation that are not given weight labina in the promulgation of judgment. Was I able to answer your question, Rila? Sa kani abut man ng kuglay yung apart? Yes, ma'am. All right. But ma'am, sa in cases sa shotguns, ma'am, since does it still follow uh, lance and grooves? Oh so yeah, yeah. Fire a shotgun. Ah, that is a very good. Months. That is a very good question. All firearms has lance and groove. Pero as what I've mentioned, la in la in ang iyang sizes. Aside from the numbers of lance and grooves, magdepende po na ang iyang width o ang iyang length. So, sa kada firearm and kada ang sinitawag ani model, lain-lain sila o gigtas on, ginglaparon, o gland and groups inside the barrel itself. Okay? Pero muna akong okay, gilangon. Ah, na ko'y gamay yung trivia. Kung ka mo, di mo makaigo, gamit shotgun, but pasabot, wad yung mo'y talent sa firing. Kaya nga naman, sa kada kampilans, matag di ka kaigo. My gosh! Di ba? Diba yung tao sa tinood lang? Imagine if you will fire a, kuan, a shotgun, mubukad ba yan na? Di mo igo ang mga pellets. So kung di pa joke ka makaigo, anay, muna siya giingong ambot na lang. Okay? Banga. Perting banga, joke di ka makaigo shotgun, ambot na lang. <laughs> Hoy, pero, ay, di na kong mastory akin, makikita niya siya, ni. <laughs> Question. Sige na. Thank you, Relasa. Anything else, Relasa? Thank you, ma'am. You're Lana, welcome. Ma Thank you, ma'am. Anything ma else? Yes, yes, Rodriguez. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Very early ma for the next subject. Yes. I mean, ma'am, kanang, karong rajid ko na ads GC kay abin ako ang sinato kay katong sa lay detection Japan, ma'am. So, unang wala ko ka-attend sa past koan meeting na to. Ah, okay lang. Sige, sige, sige. Okay, that is noted. That is noted. Sa Wait, sa'ya. Ma'am, 